this is not something you see every day, you get them to drop your keys off uh, outside the tire shop and then you give them a ring at 8 o'clock in the morning and say, hey, I left my keys there and uh, please could you do A, B and C for me? So we don't have a tire discount and we are getting the tires, second hand tires put onto uh, the Lexus just for the time being while I sort everything else out because uh, the tires that go on there, not so great. Welcome back to the channel. I kind of feel like every time I see you guys now, I'm sitting in the car. So today we are going to go and see if this car mechanically was a good purchase. We, I found a local mechanic, Justin, uh, highly recommended, never met the guy. We're going to pop down there today, go and see. We're going to do timing belt, uh, water pump, thermostat, all of that stuff. You know, the heartbeat of the, of the vehicle and make sure that we've got a good one. So, hmm, that sounds nice. I'm still getting used to the fact of having all these V8s around me in America. Um, it's odd, and I'm the only guy that breaks my neck every time I hear a V8 going down the road, and everybody's just like, but that's normal. The fancy that, we're just busy pinning everything back together uh, for the timing belt trains and everything like that. Justin is doing a stellar job. This is a little shop, but yeah, so far, everything's going back together quite nicely. Finally back home after spending way more time with Justin than uh, I was thinking. Great guy, um, very knowledgeable about the Toyota Lexus platform, so I'm really happy. And overall, we're really happy with what we saw. Um, definitely been maintenance done on the vehicle before all the ports for the water galleries and all of that uh were clean the oil was clean everything like that so now we're just going to be swapping out the spark plugs and i pulled out one spark plug and what i'm quite happy about is that although it's a denso uh it's not the the oem plug uh but it's definitely been changed in its life and it really doesn't look that bad so i'm going to pull uh all of them out the only concern i have about pulling these plugs out is whether the actual cool pack itself i know sometimes people say that they come apart and if that happens uh, I'm gonna be in a little bit of trouble because I've got to pick up Lindy later and I don't another vehicle to run down to the shop uh, to go and get it so I'm gonna get stuck into this and once I've got all the plugs out then we can have a look at what they look like set of plugs to come out these are from the driver's side and I'm not gonna lie I'm not too unhappy with them this one here has got a little bit of marking on it but that was a little bit loose in the cylinder head the rest of them are pretty tight and they all look pretty good I'm not too worried about them coil packs I think I've got a bit more life in them I will have to replace them at some stage but the nice thing is they're all Toyota original so really happy about that and I did notice on one of the forums somebody was complaining about how long it took them to change the spark plugs. Can't understand why because the one at the against the firewall is quite tricky to get to. But I'm so glad I picked up this set of just extensions, quarter, three eighths, and half inch uh, extensions from Home Depot the other day. They had them on special for like 15 bucks, and that really helped because it gives you a bit of swivel. They actually uh, they are swivel heads, so that's the, the head of them there. And at first I was like, nah. It's janky, but I'll get them anyway, at good price. Really happy I did because that really saved my bacon. Right, now onto the passenger side. And wrenching on your own wouldn't be the same if you didn't lose a 10 mil. So I did lose a 10 mil. Not the nut, not the, the socket, but the nut, and you can't see it. It's all the way down in that hole over there. So I'm gonna try and fish that out. Now I don't know what I'm gonna fish it out with, but I did have something just arrive in the mail. Uh, these two boxes over here is something that I've been waiting for. They can't go on just yet because we are planning a trip out of town uh, at the end of this week. So I'm not going to have enough time to get that done as well as the wheel alignment and everything like that. But stick around, I'm going to show you that at the end. Passenger side done now as well. And again, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not upset about these plugs. They, they look pretty good. Uh, the coil packs are pretty good. So overall, I think that we have mechanically got ourselves a good vehicle however when i was fishing out that 10 more bolt underneath both cb boy uh, boots on the outer i was spewing their guts everywhere and um, spoke to toyota the reman ones are like six weeks out um, i'm leaving on friday for a trip up to kentucky we are going in this vehicle am i worried about it like i prefer to change them up before then um, if i can't it's, it's no big deal but um, I'm gonna see, maybe we just throw some O'Reilly's in or something like that for the time being. Next up is the air filters. The cabin filter in this car, I don't know, it has ever been changed. That's like the one thing that is gross. Um, it was disgusting. We're gonna put a new air filter. K 
cabin filter um, and I think that's it for the time being. So it turns out I am not replacing the cabin filter uh, today because the one that I ordered and they got delivered like two or three weeks ago and I ordered them is the wrong one so I'm gonna have to run down and get another one. Air filter out. Yeah it's not too bad. Nice to see some uh, manufacturer parts still in there that just shows me this has not been modified and abused and all of that type of stuff but now I'm going to show you what's in these boxes and I'm just going to cover that because that's my address so let's just cut that out but this came up on marketplace um, a couple of weeks ago and I was contemplating it and I sort of like paused it and didn't really do anything and then I got a hold of the seller and said hey have you still got it he was like yep you still got it I said cool I want it um, so we came up with the pricing and it has arrived so I'm gonna cut it open and this is one of those you know it's 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 one of those items that it's a complete necessary upgrade when it comes to the budgeting uh, and the bank manager considering and looking all of that you got it's absolutely a requirement and after looking underneath earlier and seeing my CV axles uh, that have blown their boots I go this is brilliant of course it is so what we have here is an Eibach lift kit. I think these are uh, the rear, so there's the rear um, shocks with the rear springs. A little bit of wear and tear in them, but I picked them up for a good price. Um, so that is to get rid of the airbags in the back. I actually had a look under the, um, the Lexus when I was at Justin, and we had a look at the airbags, and the airbags are actually fairly new. So again, just happy that the previous owner, you know, did the required maintenance, spark plugs aren't the same uh, from manufacturer, so really happy about that. And over here we have the front, so really stoked about that. Um, actually not sure if it's, ah, oh, it's got the top hats on and everything, so that will be just a complete plug and play, so we'll need to give a bit of a clean. And then in the bottom section over here <coughs> is the icon up control arm so my boots have worn so I went ahead and got these from the buyer as well and um, he said to me they had roughly uh, 5,000 miles I think it was on there and if I can just get it out here it's coming there it is so again needs a little bit of obviously nothing to reach special just to make them look new again maybe give it a bit of a, a grease um, I'm actually not sure how uh, flexible those points there are supposed to be. I thought they would be a lot stiffer. Um, but yeah, really excited to get that in and get that going. But like I said, we're heading out this weekend. We won't be able to do that unless, of course, I need to make a plan and get those CV boots um, replaced and I may just do everything all at the same time. So yeah, but that's it for this episode. If you've made it this far, really appreciate it. Uh, please make sure that you Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more about what we're going to do with um, the Lexus, as soon as I can get these parts on, as soon as I can get uh, the CVs done, as soon as I can get all of that little stuff done and get the bugs out of the car, we're going to start uh, heading off-road. I've made contact with a couple of guys local to Chattanooga here that have offered to take me off-road and show me what it's all about. So really looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, to all of you that have subscribed and commented and left some love, uh, up until now, thank you very much. We appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one. Let's just check that she starts after replacing the spark plugs. I'm going to see that. Yep, she sounds just exactly the same.